All right, in this video, we're gonna dissect the remaining muscles of the mink. We're gonna dissect the abdomen, the chest, and the back, and the upper leg. And we're gonna start with the external abdominal oblique. And this muscle, these are very, very thin. You can see mine already has a little hole in it. So be really, really careful that when you're separating it, I usually will take my forceps and go underneath the edge of it and by going underneath this edge, you can slowly but surely lift it back. Okay, and you can see how thin it is. So you're gonna lift this back, and the next one you're gonna see is your internal oblique, which is here. And you can see that mine is shredded a little bit, and I left it that way to show you that this is a really thin muscle, about paper thin, and so it's gonna shred a little bit. I do not expect you to pull this back as far as you do the external oblique because the more you pull it the more likely it is to fall apart so i recommend you pull it back far enough that you can um, distinguish it from the top layer but it should not pull back as far the next muscle is the rectus abdominis muscle this is a band that goes down the center of the mink and again, you're going to go underneath it with your forceps and lift it up so it's a band. The last muscle, and you can see the band here, but the last muscle is the transverse abdominis muscle. And you can see it flat against the abdomen, against the intestine, leave it flat. If you try to peel that up, you end up seeing intestine and internal organs and we're not ready to do that yet. So just leave the transverse flat against the abdomen. Next, we're gonna move up to the chest. And the first muscle you'll see is the pectoralis minor. And this muscle is larger than the pectoralis major, which is above it. Again, the names in the human make a little bit more sense. The minor is larger than the major in the mink, and it has to do with how they walk. Um, so this is the pectoralis minor, and you're just going to create a little band so you can lift it up. Again, you want to remove this fat as you go through. This is the pectoralis major muscle, and you just want to separate it from the minor and lift it up as well. Then we move up to the neck shoulder area of the mink, and I'm going to rotate her over so that you can see the muscle a little bit better. So this muscle is the clavodeltoid muscle. This muscle goes over the shoulder. It's kind of like a cap, kind of similar to our deltoid muscle in the human. This is the clavodeltoid muscle. And as it travels up and goes up the back of the mink's head, it becomes the clavotrapezius muscle. Again, I've cleaned a lot of fat off and a lot of connective tissue, so you'll have to do a little bit of work. This is the clavodeltoid. Here's the clavotrapezius. If we lift this up, you can see the bicep brachii right here. And again, just leave it there. It's not gonna need to be pulled up or lifted back. Just make sure it's visible. This is your tricep brachii muscle. And I've got one of the heads divided. You can see another head here. Again, just trim the fat off. Maybe divide the heads a little bit more. But again, you're not gonna lift it back, you're gonna leave it intact. So this is the tricep brachii. Next, you have the spinodeltoid muscle. And you're gonna clean around each border to make it visible. The spinotrapezius is this muscle that's a little flap towards the back. And you're gonna separate it from the muscle underneath it and create a little flap. And this is the spinotrapezius. This is the spinodeltoid. The last one that's the group of muscles is the acromiodeltoid, which is this triangle shape near the bicep brachii. And again, just define the borders a little bit, clean the fat off. You can see it comes off pretty easy. Just be really careful. This is the acromiodeltoid muscle. And this muscle over the scapula towards the center of the back is the acromiotrapezius muscle. And it's a really thin muscle, um, almost as thin as the obliques. And so you wanna be careful with this one, but you can have it separated here. I've separated the one on the other side as well. Um, this is the acromiotrapezius muscle. The last muscle is your latissimus dorsi muscle. This is a big wing muscle, it's a large muscle. 
it goes all the way down from the middle back all the way up it goes underneath the arm and you're just going to separate it run your forceps under there and separate it so that you have a nice muscle that you can hold with your forceps and that'll be your last muscle that you dissect on the mink.